Hi, welcome to a series of videos on Anthropic MCP, Model Context Protocol. It is not that straightforward to implement. So, our goal is to make it very, very simple in a couple of videos. There are plenty of videos, but the thing is, if I can understand, you will definitely understand. So, I will explain this in my way. So, first, we will spend a couple of minutes in summarizing what MCP is. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I am Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. So, so we have made a series of videos on agents. Now, these agents allow us to add tools to... We have seen it. What, what can be these tools? This can be web access, this can be a calculator, this can be a booking system. We have seen how we can add a booking system as a tool to an agent. What is the problem when you look at this? The problem is all these are tied up like a monolith. You know, when the software development um, evolved, we started building modules then SOAP protocol came, etc. So, modular building is not possible when we closely connect our tools to the agent. The problem is, you can't easily allow development of these as separate units. So, Anthropic developed this model context protocol where we do something here so that we can decouple the tools and still use these tools. So, for, for that, what we need to understand is there are components, these are called MCP clients. Okay, and then we have MCP servers, MCP servers run in a loosely coupled fashion. So, let's spend a minute before we uh, dive into demonstration and how we can easily learn MCP. But idea is, it allows a standardized way of accessing these tools when we use agents. Anthropic's model context protocol is an open standard introduced in late 2024. The idea is to facilitate seamless integration between AI models and external data sources. So, it allows dynamic interaction. The important aspect is, it standardizes the protocol, that is the parameters, way of calling and the uh, responses are all standardized. So, if you look back in software development front also, we have seen an evolution, isn't it? You know, SOAP protocol came to loosely couple uh, software subsystems, simple object access protocol. Then SOAP receded and REST protocol completely dominated and REST, R-E-S-T stands for Representational State Transfer. So, REST made things very easy to access and when Docker came, microservices architecture became uh, popular and now we don't know the state of microservices architecture now, but things evolved in a similar fashion. Similarly, in agentic framework, we know that large language model plays a significant role, but third-party tools and custom tools are essential elements of any AI application. Anthropics MCP is to unify this into a standardized protocol. Now, personally, I don't know how this will succeed and we don't know if OpenAI will adopt this and we don't know how the industry is going to react because I find it difficult to understand and implement. So, my goal in this series of videos is to make it very simple so that you will have a hello world examples of how to build your own MCP server, how to build your own MCP client and use it. So, we will have a fully working MCP based system by the end of this series. So, today, see currently, there are three major components. One is the SDP toolkit, 
SDK and then local MCP server support uh, using cloud desktop apps. So what I feel is it is best to start to see what it is and see how it works. And then they have given an open repository of large collection of ready to use examples. Okay, so so I am coming to this link. Uh, Anthropic News Model Context Protocol and install pre-built MCP servers through Cloud Desktop App. That is what we are going to do. So clicking the link, we can download the Cloud Desktop App minus a Mac system for Windows. You can use one of these options. Okay, so this is the URL that I am going to follow. ModelContextProtocol.io Quick Start slash user. So here, Cloud Desktop we need to install, which I have already installed. It is easy to download and install. Okay, so this is the Cloud Desktop. I am going to ask, can you write a joke and save it to user 3 desktop joke.txt file. So let's see what it says. I'm afraid I can't directly save files to a computer file system. Do you see this? As an AI assistant, I don't have the ability to access or write files to your local device. Okay, so it has created the joke, but it is clearly saying it has no access outside this app. Now, what do we do normally in an agent? We attach tools to it, like a file management tool. That is what we would do. Like in Python, you can write a, a, a tool, such a tool, and attach it to it. But if I create a tool, it will be in my way, and you create a file management tool, it will be in your way, the parameters and whatever you want to pass, you will define, isn't it? But these days, it's not true. Because it will be ChatGPT or you know DeepSeek or um, Claude that is going to create these codes for us. But you understand the point. So what uh, Anthropic has done is Anthropic has created a set of ready-to-use MCP server tools. So that is what we are going to see how we can add such a tool to this and make this work. So that is our first exercise in understanding MCP. Later videos, we will see how we will build these client and servers ourselves. Come to Settings, Developer, and click on Edit Config. So when you click on it, it is not going to do anything. It will only show you the path to the file. Okay. So here is the uh, path to the file. So what I am going to do is, I am going to open this in the editor. Okay. So it is a JSON syntax which says MCP servers and an empty object. Let's follow the instructions. Okay, so here we are going to copy this object MCP servers and add our first MCP servers. So our MCP server is a file system. Okay, so it is a file system. And it is a node application. Okay, and these are the parameters. And see this, it wants us to give it paths. So, whichever path you want to authorize this, you can specify here. So, what I will do is, I will, okay, I created a unwanted folder for this demo, I am going to paste it here, users 3, users 3 downloads unwanted folder 1. I don't want it to have two folders. I just want this application file system MCP server to have complete control over this folder in the downloads unwanted folder 1. Okay, now I save it. So far is clear, we have defined an MCP server, which is a server provided by Anthropic and which is a node JS-based application. So see here, 
how it looks. We will see how it looks after we restart Claude. I am going to copy this prompt so we can use it. I don't need to type it again. And we will close and start Claude desktop again. If you hover over the hammer, you see it has 11 MCP tools available. Now let me ask user C. User C. Can you write a joke and save it to user 3 downloads unwanted? folder one slash joke dot txt. Okay, so we have added the MCP. Okay, so it's asking allow for this chat permission. Okay, so my Mac is asking for multiple permissions. But it has successfully written. See this? I have successfully written this joke. So by adding a tool, in this case, it's able to access. Now shall we look at the file? So this is the folder. Let's hope the file is there. Yes, see? A cat. Yes, why don't scientists trust atoms? Can you list the files in okay it's asking for permission allow Okay, so this directory contains a single file, joke.txt. So this is a quick demo of the getting started with an MCP server using Claude Desktop, which is a development environment actually. You can't take this MCP server outside this. So what we're going to do is, we will see how we can run this MCP using Agno Agentic Framework. So that is our next demo. All our videos are in this fashion where we practically see how things work because I want to see things work to be able to understand. So please remember to like, share and subscribe and give your valuable thoughts. Bye-bye.